Why was the White Hunt such a bad idea in Game of Thrones? Ah, the infamous White Hunt. A classic example of when a seemingly good idea goes down the tubes faster than ice melting beyond the wall. So, let's dissect where the logic train derailed in that frostbitten fiasco. Misguided Motives The plan was to capture a white and present it to Cersei, thereby proving the existential threat looming over Westeros. Great on paper, right? As much as we like to believe in the unifying power of common enemies, we were dealing with Cersei Lannister here. Nothing short of her own undead transformation would have likely swayed her. Jon Snow and company betting on Cersei's sense of reason was the first roll of the loaded dice. Ill-conceived plan. The gang recruited for this mission were valiant, sure. But what was the actual plan? There didn't seem to be a solid exit strategy, especially since they were marching into terrain that the Army of the Dead had on lockdown. It's like walking into a dragon's den wearing a suit made of what they love to snack on. A big, shiny, suicidal suit. The domino effect. The consequences of the White Hunt were dire. Viserion, one of Daenerys's beloved dragons, ended up as the Night King's ice dragon mount. Talk about backfiring. It upgraded the villain's arsenal from scary zombie horde to apocalyptic army with aerial support. Realistically, we handed the Night King his very own Frosty the Snow Dragon, complete with blue flame action and wall-melting abilities. A betrayal of character intelligence. One of the strongest aspects of Game of Thrones was its characters. Complicated, intelligent, always playing 4D chess. Then comes the White Hunt, and it's like half the team hit their heads and forgot how to play the game. Fans could feel the presence of the plot's heavy hand, guiding characters into decisions they'd normally scoff at. In Portland, Oregon, where I'm from, we're used to the concept of sometimes biting off more than we can chew with our endeavors, be it a new tech startup or a trek in the wilderness. But the White Hunt wasn't just overambition. It was a series of unfortunate decisions that didn't seem true to the ethos of the story or its characters. It was the narrative equivalent of a blizzard, exciting to watch from a distance, but on closer inspection, cold and full of chaos.